What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. You know who it is. We are playing Dota. It's another Dota game. It's a ranked game. It's also a double down game. We are trying to see how far we can get into the rank scene with these double downs, trying all our best. Um, and my rank will be revealed at the end of this video. I'm just going to say it's not the same as what it was. It could be lower, it could be higher. We don't know. Anyway, let's focus on this game. We are up against a lot. So in this game, we've got Magnus, Leshrac, um, myself as Hoodwink. Then we've got the Shadow Demon, and then we've got the PA. That is the Radiant team. Now, onto the Dire, we've got Puck, Axe, Ursa, Tinker, and a Rubik. It's all, all in all, it is a good round uh, Dota game because of the heroes, the heroes that they've picked. Uh, if we can get perfect execution, we might be able to win this game. But again, it just depends on how well we play this game. Now trying to do as much to irritate this Ursa in the lane. Just kind of making him feel uncomfortable to lane over here. That's all that we're doing. That's why you can see I am trying to pull. I am just harassing him using Bushwhack, using Acorn Shot. Um, but yeah, just trying to put a lot of pressure on the Ursa, but he is tanky, so I'm not doing a lot of damage onto this Ursa. And Magnus is also farming this hard camp while farming these creeps, so Magnus is able to do um, all this while we are harassing the Ursa. Now, just before the six minute mark, I do claim their bounty rune, and I am gonna try and help my Leshrac claim the first power rune of the game. Uh, the Puck is going to try and contest this, but it's only me here, as you can see on the minimap, and we stun up this, a shield rune does spawn, we stun up the puck, sorry, but we weren't able to pass the rune onto the left rack, so we ended up just taking it for ourselves, uh, did a little bit of damage, made the, cuff, the puck feel uncomfortable, and then we head back to the lane. Now, focusing our attention onto the Ursa, you can see how much damage we can do onto him, but he does have a thick one stack, uh, ends up healing a lot with the shield and the march of the machines he just does a ton of damage with those stacks on us the fury stacks so we are going to try and again turn on him magnus is going to go in but he still does have one stacks and he's about one hit away he gets shielded up and he's just too quick for us to get him and our efforts are in vain and exactly that is not what i expected in this lane um now Focusing our attention onto this um, Tinker because he, the Tinker was trying to pull the lane. I'm trying to stop him from doing that. But at the same time, I'm about to go down to this Ursa. And then you can see the Fury stacks are just not what you want as a support. The Puck does make a rotation. RP onto the Ursa, trying to do all that he can. But Magnus is down. Now Puck focusing all his attention onto me. He, he's, he is healing up. And now the Ursa jumps on, and that is now two kills that I have fed in this lane. So we are about to make a rotation. Um, we are going to try and put pressure on this off lane, trying to make sure that the rest of the lanes do go better. So maybe focusing our attention onto the mid lane. But with this, it does free up the Ursa to free farm a little. Puck did try to go onto the left track, but I missed Sharpshooter. We get the stun onto the puck, and that is a dead puck. Is what you like to see. Now, we have another rotation onto our mid laner, onto this lash rack. Now, stunning up the both supports. Again, RP, sharpshooter, actually connects. Disruption onto the puck. Uh, Dream coil onto just the two supports. And now, looking at see if we can get this puck, but he is very elusive. And he ends up escaping. Unfortunately, it doesn't, it doesn't come to anything. The items that we are going to be focusing on are going to be the mana boots. And then from there, we are going to go into the Rod of Atos. Maybe later on, later in the game, looking at upgrading it to a Gleipnir. Dream Coil onto the Hoodwink. Leshrac does come in. We do miss the stun. Looking to see if we can land any other spells. Now, the Puck is slowed. But he does have a Witchblade and we end up dying to the Witchblade. Uh, it just ticked us out and it wasn't something I expected. We have smoked up. I'm smoked with the Magnus. 
we are going to bait out this lash rack. We stand, we are standing right behind him. You can see there a blink in by the axe, a skewer from the uh, Magnus and our RP. That is a triple kill for the lash rack. And the lash rack almost go, dies, but a regen rune does spawn bottom. And this means that we can push this tower. The lash rack does not have to go back to the base. And with Rod of Atos almost ready, we're going to have a lot of control for this puck. Making sure that the puck can't get out and hopefully the Ursa can't get out if BKB and um, his ulti is down. So that is the reason why we are getting this this, this, this Rod of Atos. Hopefully maybe upgrading it into a Gleipnir later on. And there you can see mid tower goes down. Dream Coil onto the PA. The Magnus does skewer in, trying to just disrupt them a little bit, saving the PA. Now, Rod of Atos ready, Bushwhack, Acorn Shot, and Sharpshooter, and that is the Puck down. That is a dieback for the Puck um, at the moment. The Tinker is doing so much with the Shield and the March of the Machines. You can see the amount of damage we are taking from March of the Machines, and we ended up ticking out to this... With just two heroes left on our side, we do get an RP onto the Tinker, and the Tinker ends up going down. Smokes up again, trying to make some new plays. The Axe is going to try and blink down to the PA, but is just not in range. Leshrak is uh, occupied, but there's an RP used onto nothing. Rooted in the trees, Leshrak isn't able to do anything. Magnus Skewer is in, BKB used. And now, looking to see if we can get the Axe, we want to secure this Roche fight, but there is and Ursa on our Lash Rack. Unfortunately, Magnus down, Lash Rack down, but Axe and Tinker are also down. That means the, Tink the Rubik is down, we're down. It's a three for three trade at this point, and the PA just goes down. She was not able to escape. The puck is cooking at this point. Ursa is doing a lot, and there is a full team wipe against us. Wow, guys, what a fight now trying to they do claim the ages and we are going to try and defend this high ground we do not want them to take our high ground we do use sharpshooter it does connect onto the ursa uh, uh using roll of atos to uh get onto the puck puck goes down we do burn out ages uh ursa does blink away the rubik did also go down in that fight now trying to chase this ursa seeing if we are able to uh, to get this Ursa, see maybe if we can get the Tinker because the Tinker is lingering around. Blink in by the PA. BKB used disruption. Getting ready to stun up this Ursa, but he also uses his BKB. Now uh, we are trying to escape, and there's an RP by the Magnus. What's an RP to, to just get this kill onto the Ursa? And that's what we need. It's a 4 for nothing trade this means that we are ready for the next team fight again they do still have ages but a massive rp from the magnus and the dream call that is two of them down and we also get the kill onto the puck that is three for one at this point we are still focusing onto the ursa the big bad in this team fight Aegis is down bkb is used he's got nothing left ready with stuns, ready with rod, ready with everything to make sure that we get this kill onto the Ursa. Magnus almost goes down, but a great Yule Scepter. And that is a four for one trade, meaning that we can push further down this lane. But we ended up just backing off because they were respawning. It took us a little longer. Now, um, a Dream Coil by the puck landing onto us. I do end up taking out two the damage from the dream coil and from the witch blade i think at this point the puck had upgraded to a parasma um, and it ended up yielding nothing else now looking to see if again we are still trying to push this high ground um a great um effort by the lash rack and we do end up getting the kill onto the tinker with the sharpshooter we do have the middle racks has been claimed now stunning up and trying to almost hitting that bushwhack onto the the puck but we are just not able to and the ursa comes in jumps in but ends up just dying to my pa i had great support from the rest of my team left track is busy fighting the back line that is a four for nothing trade this spells the end of the game guys that is my hoodwink game guys and there you can see i am archon 3 at this point
um, it's been a journey. We are trying our best. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hit a like and tell me what you think of this video. And I'll see you all next time. Peace. Cheers. Bye.